The Food Network's Best Baker in America just finished its fourth season with two Kentuckians taking the spotlight. Louisville pastry chef Jackie Joseph won the $25,000 grand prize. The Floyd County native received high praise from fellow Kentuckian Jason Smith, a judge on the popular show. You know, being part of the fourth season because I started on the very first season, been on every season, but this fourth season was super awesome. It was a lot more fun. We interacted with the contestants even more. And you know, the, the bakers this year and the contestants, they were just so very, very, um, they were more uh, let's say pastry, but they cared about each other instead of fighting and I don't want you to win. I'm going to beat you. They became a family and they grew over the whole time and they were just wonderful contestants to work with and they became family of ours as well. And, you know, it was just the most awesome season. I can't wait for season five. So, uh, you know, it just, we have to keep topping it, but season four was probably one of my favorites so far. It was so fun to watch, and I love that I was able to watch it with my daughter, and then to see you, who we love on Best of the Bluegrass, and then Jackie win it all. It really was just a phenomenal season. So, so what are you up to now? You're joining us today from your kitchen in Florida, so you're taking a break from away from Kentucky right now. Yeah, so today I'm in my new test kitchen here in Florida, and you know, that way I can come down here when it's cold weather, honey, and I don't have to worry about all the snow and ice. But uh, today we're talking all things Father's Day. And, you know, one of those things that I like to do for Father's Day is chocolate brownies. And I know y'all are thinking, oh, how exciting is brownie? Well, honey, I can guarantee you these brownies will make you more exciting than two stumps making love. I'm telling you, they're going to be good, honey. Let me tell you. Now, I know we're starting with a box cake mix because, you know, it's already pre-measured and there's nothing wrong with that. It's what you add to it. And, you know, you should really treat your dad well on Father's Day. And, honey, this tipsy brownie will have him laying by the pool wanting more, I can tell you. So we're starting with a box cake or box brownie mix. And we're adding to it, instead of the oil, we're using bacon grease. I said it, yes, bacon grease. But now, if you don't have bacon grease, honey, darling, listen, it's Father's Day, so treat your daddy well. He needs a little bacon grease in his <laughs> life. But if you don't have bacon grease, you can use uh, vegetable oil. Then we have, instead of water, we have light beer. Light beer, honey. Light it's beer. Bourbon at the time. <laughs> beer. It gives it that hoppiness. And then we have our vanilla, and then we're adding two eggs. And you know, as I always say, when you're using eggs, try to buy the brown eggs because the brown eggs have a richer yolk to them. So you get a darker, deeper uh, flavor out of those eggs because they are so rich. But the beer in this takes it to a whole new level. You know, the beer has a nice hoppiness to it because there's a lot of hops and barley in beer but you get that unctionness that you need out of the beer. And honey, this is just as simple as stirring it up and you just want to mix it up until it's totally mixed. Now this is a chewy brownie. Um, I do like the chewy brownies better because honey, what's better than a chewy fudgy brownie than another chewy fudgy brownie. You, the cake brownies, if I wanted a cake, I'd eat a cake. I don't want my brownies to be cake like I want them fudgy. So what you do is you just mix that all up and then you pour it into your baking pan. Now, once you put it in your baking pan, you want to bake it for about 35, 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. You're going to have a little fudge on there. Now, when you take it out of the oven, you want to put on a cup of chocolate chips and then they will melt and make the own icing on top. But we're not going to stop there at icing, honey. I've got a big slice cut right here. Now that's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. But now we're taking caramel sauce, any caramel sauce, it can be store-bought or you can make it at home and you mix a little bit of beer in there. You can get the recipe on southerncountryplan.com and you pour that beer caramel sauce right over the top. And then if you want to put your big slab or dab of uh, Cool Whip on there, or as I call it, whoop cream, or if you want some ice cream on there, honey, that just makes it even better. But it's super fudgy, super hoppy. It is so good. Little pecans, honey. Oh, mm -hmm. Lord, honey, that'll make you slap your hind end and say, Lord, it's Father's Day. Let's have some brownies. 
Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. I wish I had one right now. Jason, I love your recipes that you share on our show because they're always so simple. I mean, you know, like this is something that my daughter could make. Oh, most definitely. You know, and I'm one of those. I like fewer ingredients with big flavor. And honey, that's what my recipes do. It doesn't take the whole kitchen to make something good. Just a few nice ingredients. And honey, they'll be talking about your party all day long. Honey, they'll be thank you's up in there all day at cooking. And it only takes about 30 minutes to make this dessert. I guarantee it. You will love this. But if you don't want to use the beer now, honey, you can use water if you want to. But now I'd say, I'm telling you, if you miss out on the beer, then you ain't going to have the same flavor. <laughs> Jason, remind everybody where they can follow you. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram, uh, official underscore Chef Jason Smith, on my Lord Honey page on Facebook. And don't forget to stop over at the website at southerncountryblend.com. Get your new summer apparel and all these yummy, great recipes, honey. There's enough recipes on there. You won't have to cook for, you know, a year, honey, to go through all them recipes.